Hey guys, finally um, I completed the model uh, building uh, with my test article. I would say serial number one of, I don't know how to name it, but it's a EDF uh, hybrid jet testing. So as you see, um, I explained in a previous video, you have a um, first fan and goes into the secondary uh, fan at the end. I don't know if you can see that, but you, you, you can see there's a stator that flows, uh, directs the airflow on different direction and comes back it receives the air and also exhaust in there so there's also a fan I'll um, explain you in the model later but you don't see it here but this this piece is actually using for cooling for the motor and here's a motor mount and here's a support and using a Kessel 2028 motor um, this motor is actually capable for 7,500 watt, which is equivalent to 10 horsepower. But uh, with this setup, I'm using actually 60% of it because um, there's a possible chance that I can burn up the ESC, which I don't want. So I'm just going to do a uh, target for 60%, but um, uh, let's see. Uh, here's some of my batteries and setting up for 3000 amp hour with 11.1 volt times 4 comes out to 44.4 volt and here's my uh, status monitor to my server tester and this is receiver and this is a satellite antenna and later on when I do the 100% test uh, I just don't want to be near it because it might explode. Okay, so uh, before I connect the battery, um, we can go through the models here real quick. And this is a uh, completed the model. And if you look at it, uh, I was gonna tell you the, uh, the motor mount and uh, uh, cooling fan, which is pretty cool. Um, I thought I like it. So here we go. So if we do that and zoom it in, and this piece is uh, actually a motor, and I've added a clutch plate, and this and this engages when motor's out and this white piece here is a fan and it actually turns with the motor and this one actually turns which makes these turns all together with the shaft so this is a first stage fan and there's a stator which flows uh, which directs the airflow to the different direction and here is um, secondary fan and you have a battery here I just want to find out um, how the air will react um, I haven't had a chance to do analysis on that for uh, air flowing because uh, I haven't had a software version for that yet but I'll get it okay so how we flow the air into the motor this is a motor mount and let's see and open it so this motor mount is looks like this and it's all 3d printed and the, it directs air into the motor housing like this and motor is mounted on this thick plate on here so the fan is looking like let's see this and it drags uh, it rotates uh, counterclockwise so hopefully it can cool some 
uh, you, can, you can blow some air and cool some uh, motor down. All right, so time to start. And connect the battery. This is such a high voltage. All right, so speed controller is ready to run, and we got the forty six point three three five voltage. And here we go. We only gonna run ten percent of the power for now because. Um, if I want to run like 100% I don't want to be near with it and plus um, there's actually no safety feature right now so I'm gonna have to that's what I'm gonna have to add but I thought I got I was gonna give you guys some update uh, where I am at so here we go about to pull off this is another thing I need to fix off I actually need to order um, the scale to pull so I can measure my thrust but there's a linear bearing I don't know if I told you already or not but it kind of like, moves very easy so okay this is it for today and stay tuned and I'll come up with update when I do the 100% uh, power. Thank you guys.